everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a protein strawberry oatmeal breakfast bar. Welcome back to Saving and Style. So lovely to have you. I'm going to be sharing with you all the ways that I like to save money and live in style. A little bit about me. I am a soon to be mom. I'm 20, 20 weeks tomorrow. Um, we are due April 2022. So excited. I didn't even know if I could get pregnant. So it is a blessing for sure. Um, and I have always enjoyed sharing all the ways that I love to save money. And I'm hoping this can help others too in the process. Okay, I will list all the ingredients as well as if I can find the link, I'll put that and similar ones in the description box. But you will need some old fashioned oats. Um, I did separate this out for the strawberries versus the bottom and top. Um, the strawberries, you'll need a little bit of cornstarch and sugar. And obviously strawberries, if you're using frozen strawberries, you wanna make sure they're drained. Um, and if you would like, you can save the strawberry juice for something else. A uh, little bit of lemon zest. I don't have any lemons, so I'm going to use lemon juice, a blender, um, a little sugar for the oat mixture. And I do have a lot of almond flour because for a while I was eating extremely gluten-free. So I'm going to use some of that. If you, if you don't have almond flour, you can use all-purpose flour. You will need a little bit of baking powder as well, some butter, and I'm just going to be using a disposable pan. I know probably bad for you, but I don't have just a regular square dish. So we're going to use what we have on hand. I do want to mention I forgot the most important part of this, the protein. Now, I do recommend using a protein powder that is an isolate. And then um, you want to mix that with the dry ingredients. I like to use about a half a cup um, or half a scoop in with my dry ingredients just to start. As you can see here, um, I'm mixing all those dry ingredients together a little bit of almond flour in there with my oats, mixing that around just a little bit.
did want to mention you do want to add about a scoop to two scoops of protein powder i would say start with a scoop um this is two scoops in here i'm gonna start with a scoop yeah just to be on the safe side i don't want to overdo it um because once mixed with other things it does tend to become a little more liquidy and that's how you get your protein in here um, you can actually cook protein and do a whole bunch of things with protein that a lot of people just don't take the risk to do. And it does help to add in that extra protein if you're one that does not um, enjoy eating protein so often. A great protein mix will definitely help. I will leave my protein recommendations in the comment box below as well. Up are the strawberries and we're going to add this to a blender. I just need to strain them out a little bit and then we're good to go. And I will be adding just a little bit of protein to this and we'll do the whole thing. So one scoop each in the oats and then one scoop in here. can as well add your own seasonings. Now you don't have to follow this recipe exactly. Use what you have on hand and if you think cinnamon or ginger would work well, use that. I'm going to add a little bit of both and see how it goes this time. All right, next we're going to add three-fourths of this to the bottom of the cake pan. You do want to pat this down pretty tight it doesn't matter if you use your hands or with a spoon i'm just using a spoon because that's what i had literally in my hand <laughs> um it does not have to be perfect nobody is gonna know so do what you can this next part is so hilarious i cracked up laughing i could not get the <laughs> container mixer whatever you want to call it off the stand it was so funny <laughs> when i went back to edit this i couldn't stop laughing it was struggle street i don't know what made it stuck on there so badly but i seriously can't stop laughing and the more i look at it the more it just makes me laugh so i just gave up <laughs> eventually and took it and just took off the top and poured it inside because i was like you know what whatever this is how it's gonna be I'm gonna improvise and we're gonna do what we can. <laughs> You do want to pour the entire strawberry mixture into the pan on top of the oat mixture. I'm still cracking up just laughing about how long that took me to get that off of there. Oh my land up. And then you do want to end up spreading it around evenly just to make sure that it fills in any gaps along the sides. It does not need to look perfect. We're not going for perfection. We're going for yummy goodness. Then you do want to pour the rest of the oat mixture on top. Make sure you spread it evenly. Um, I tried to use the bowl and then I was like, you know what, I'll just give up. And I'm going to use my hands just to fill in all those cracks and crevices. Because I'm going to use everything that I have. Why not? Nothing will go to waste in this dish. We are going to utilize everything we made. You 
You do want to spread everything around evenly just to get it all situated and ready to go into the oven. It does not need to be perfect. We are going for yummy goodness here. Next, you will need to heat up your oven to 350 if you have not already. And it does go in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. I would definitely check on it. My oven runs a little bit hotter, so I tend to back off on the time just a little bit. But use your own discretion. Bonus tip, if you want to keep your frozen strawberries, go ahead and refreeze them in an ice cube tray. You can use them for smoothies. You can use them for a pink drink, just whatever your heart desires, as long as it doesn't go to waste. All right, here it is. I did go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of chocolate that I had left um, over here. And then I did put some peanut butter just kind of partially in the middle there. Um, and then left a little bit without just to have some variety. Once this cools, I will spread this a little bit more evenly. Um, but here it is. Okay, I could not wait to dig into this. <clears throat> so. So here it goes. Taste test. Colton said it needed a little more filling last time, he thought. So. You're supposed to wait till this cools. Not today. Mmm. So good. Blue's over here thinking he's going to get some. No, sir. Cheers. <laughs> 